2022 was a year of recovery and stabilizing the new normal after the COVID-19 pandemic. I read books primarily which gave us a deeper understanding of challenging the status quo, books that force us to adapt and adopt to new ways of living, and books that focus on institutions that rose from upheavals. I read volumes of text on change management and delivered sessions at corporates and educational institutions on dealing with change. And as we enter 2023 with renewed vigor and purpose, here are my top five books of 2022. Number one is Think Again by Adam Grant. Organizational psychologist and author Adam Grant is a master at making you rethink the prevailing norms of the world and how they impact our decision making. In this book, he tells us about the how, the when, and the why of rethinking. Think Again is not a narrative about how the author engineered success formulas for organizations or individuals, but it is about how his preconceived notions failed at at times. The reason why Think Again struck me the most is because of the author's epiphanies about his beliefs in success and happiness. The book has plenty of examples, case studies and anecdotes that will force you to rewire your thinking about events and decisions in life. As Adam Grant mentions in the book, learning is not about establishing your beliefs, but it is about evolving your beliefs. Think Again is the ideal book for corporate employees and students to reimagine and rethink organizational behavior. Number two is The Black Swan by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Scholar, essayist, risk analyst, options trader and author Nassim Nicholas Taleb's Black Swan is a legendary text on human thought and knowledge. Black Swans are events of the past, the present and the future that none of us forecasted or imagined but they go on to cause maximum impact on the world. In the Black Swan, Nassim Nicholas Taleb constantly mocks experts, analysts, bankers, economists and statisticians all alike for the failure to acknowledge such risks. He constantly compares the intellect of the average Joe on the street with risk experts and analysts and why the risk models by these experts and even Nobel Prize winners have been flawed in the past. Black Swan is difficult to read in one go but must be enjoyed by understanding the underlying message of the author that no one can predict a black swan and he can only build enough capabilities to resist it or maybe in some situations benefit from it. An example in the case being the COVID-19 pandemic and how the e-commerce industry boomed because of the pandemic. Black Swan is an essential read of our times to understand uncertainties and risks and how we can use these models to better equip ourselves in a volatile world. Number three is How the World Really Works by Vaclav Smil. Author Vaclav Smil dissects every crucial resource that we consume today in this magnificent research titled How the World Really Works. He explains why the needs of 8 billion people cannot be fulfilled by simply depending on renewable forms of energy. He explains why our understanding on the climate change needs to be revised and upgraded. He points out that even the most advanced nation, Germany, can only extract 20% of their overall energy output through solar or through renewable forms of energy. Therefore, there is still a lot to do, not just with the developed, but importantly with all the underdeveloped nations of the world towards climate change. He carefully explains and compares the energy resource co consumed by us as compared to a decade or even centuries ago, how we got here and what are the inventions and the interventions that made it possible. He clearly states that a future presents two clear options. One is of an economical collapse 
by preserving our ecology or two is an ecological collapse in trying to preserve icon the steps we take as a collective in the next decade will decide that fate number 4 is the power law by sebastian malaby the power law is an intriguing read into the world of exponential returns against the backdrop of path breaking entrepreneurship innovation and invention Sebastian Malaby an author journalist and senior fellow for international economics beautifully narrates the dynamics and the interplay between game changers and visionaries who go on to shape our world each chapter of the power law is a case study of the silicon valley startup culture and where it is today importantly the author explains how money is merely seen as a commodity to generate massive wealth by investors Along with the investor psyche he depicts the ingenuity the eccentricity and the anxiety of entrepreneurs creators and leaders The power law takes the reader into the deep alleys and mindsets of silicon valley hotshots and how they became our world's most important architects The power law is a fun and insightful read to understand and develop an entrepreneurial mindset And number 5 is the Tata story by Peter Casey. I picked up the Tata story for my love and respect for the entire Tata group. But amid the conglomerate's success and growth lies a complex network of family ties and relationships. The author commendably drafts Tata lineage and legacy and the reader is introduced to the organizational makeup and the history of Tata's successors individually. Even with the complex structure, Tata's vision right from the start has been straightforward right from the time of Jamshedji Tata. The idea of philanthropy inverses the capitalist mindset. The Tata story is not only a narrative about India's most respected family, but it also gives guidance to corporates on ethics and social responsibility in a world marred with problems on governance, trust, and scalability these were my top 5 picks of 2022 i hope you enjoyed the review and feedback and really hope you pick up one of these reads i wish you your loved ones a very happy and a prosperous 2023 I wish you were still I wish you were still